Welcome to Novell ZenWorks video demonstrations. This video shows how to migrate the primary server from an unsupported architecture to an architecture that is supported in ZenWorks 11 SP3. John, a ZenWorks administrator, launches the ZenWorks upgrade tool on the primary server that he wants to upgrade to ZenWorks 11 SP3. The upgrade fails and displays an error message indicating that the primary server's architecture is not supported in ZenWorks 11 SP3. As a result, John has to migrate the primary server from the unsupported architecture to a supported server architecture before he can resume the primary server upgrade. As the first step in the migration process, John uses the ZenWorks 11.2.0 media to install a ZenWorks primary server on a 64-bit server architecture that is supported by ZenWorks 11 SP3. He refers to this new primary server as Machine X and the 32-bit primary server that he is migrating as Machine A. John adds Machine X to the zone, then performs a system update on Machine X to ensure that it is the same ZenWorks version as Machine A. With Machine X added to the zone, John launches a ZenWorks server migration tool on Machine X. He selects English as the language for the tool's prompts. He accepts the terms in the license agreement. He checks to make sure that the prerequisites are met. He checks for any warning messages. At this point, John must authenticate to the management zone, so he enters his ZenWorks administrator username and password. He must authenticate to Machine A in order for the server migration tool to access files on the server. He enters Machine A's server address and his login credentials for remotely accessing the server. He then clicks the install button to start the server migration. Depending on the amount of data to migrate and the speed of the machines and network, this process could take a few hours to complete. The migration tool copies Machine A's content files, configuration files, and network configuration to Machine X. It then deactivates the network configuration on Machine A and activates it on Machine X. When the migration tool is finished, Machine X is now Machine A. To complete the migration process, John will have to delete the server object from Machine X from ZenWorks Control Center. With Machine A on an architecture that is supported by ZenWorks 11 SP3, John proceeds with upgrading Machine A to ZenWorks 11 SP3. To learn more about ZenWorks server migration as well as other features of ZenWorks, visit novell.com/documentation. Thanks for watching.